thought we found the cheapest gas in all of Ontario. Just joking. <laughs> All right, what's going on guys? Holly and I are up in the North Bay area. Gonna go out on the ice, look for some walleye and perch, some pike out here as well. So we're just gonna walk out off of one of the boat launches out here in the Calendar Bay area. But first we're gonna stop by uh, Billy Bob's Bait up here, just outside of Calendar, grab us up some minnows, and then uh, we'll catch you when we get over there. So if you've put on some weight like I have over the pandemic and lockdowns, then I suggest leaving the snowmobile at home and dragging the sled out. You're sure to burn some calories. Okay, so we're all set up now. We've got the heater pumping for Holly. We'll go over quickly what we're gonna start off with. So over here, we're just gonna run a dead stick. It's just a nose hook minnow. So we'll just let that work for us. And then I'm gonna start off with the Rapala ripping wrap. This is a gold color, lots of sound. Holly's gonna start off with this little white. It's a Frostbite's dinner bell. So if you watch any of the other YouTubers online, you can see how productive these have been for them. So we don't have any electronics. The bay here is pretty dirty water, so the aqua view wasn't working very good for us. So uh, we're basically just set up in line with a bunch of other hot, hot operators up here. How many huts are out here? It's pretty incredible. So obviously there's fish in the area. We're just not gonna be able to see them on any of the electronics. Got one. Big perch. Nice one. All right, we got our first uh, fish of the evening. Lake Nipissing perch. Not a bad size, he'd make for a good eater. But we're gonna let him go back down. All right, let's get him back in. <laughs> he gone. Good one. Good one, man. Ooh, what is it? Yes, you don't know. What is it? Pickle? Oh. Lake Nipissing Eyes. I just got them on uh, orange caviar drop jig head and a uh, minnow.
Yeah. All right, we just got another little guy. Same thing, just on the dead stick minnow. Not a big one, but good healthy fish. It's cool they get their fins up in the winter. I don't remember the one you caught. Yeah, he went and put his fins up. So Holly just uh, added a minnow head to her spoon, and she just had a fish hooked. She lost him a couple feet up. And uh, right after that, the dead stick got him. I'm pretty sure that the same fish she had swam over and got the other minnow. So we'll get uh, rigged up again and get dropped down. Hopefully we can get some more. We immediately dropped that one back down right after we showed you and this little guy. We must just be on a little school of them right now. I mean, they're not very big, but catching fish is just better than just sitting out here. All right, so as you guys can tell, it's the next morning now. By the time we got back to the hotel last night, we just grabbed a bite and a shower and headed to bed. So we woke up this morning and it was 70K winds, so we decided just hit the road, not I think 70 kilometers an hour is too much for the pop-up tents out there on the lake today. So just to sum up the trip, we were there for two days. The first day didn't go so well. Second day, we decided to wait for like, we head out around two o'clock, 1.30 in the afternoon set up. We were really focused on the evening bite, which seemed to work out good for us. Uh, a couple other things, if you decide to go up in that area to fish, we stayed at the Best Western. It was pretty affordable, clean rooms and tons of parking if you have snowmobile trailers or or you got a bigger truck and trailer. If you need bait, I would suggest checking out Billy Bob's bait and calendar there. If their hours aren't working for the times you're driving by, they do have a cooler out front. They do a little honor system thing, leave a couple dozen minnows in the cooler, and there's just a box you can drop some money in. So I suggest supporting them, they're great. Other than that, we got like a two hour drive home and it's supposed to be windy and snowy, so we'll see how that goes. We appreciate you guys watching the videos and all your support so far. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing and we'll catch you next time.